Hi all, I'm Christy Thompson and this is The Medley. Today I'm going to be doing something called a sushi sandwich. Uh, raise your hand if you have a little kid who doesn't like to eat. We have one too. So this has been a fun kind of creative way to get her to eat something as simple as a sandwich. Um, I don't always let her get away with being such a diva, but now and then when I have the time, I kind of like to stoke her out in her lunches. So I know that there's a lot of parents out there who do things like cookie cutters to make it interesting, like hearts and stars. And while I think that's really cute, I've also been really curious as to where the scraps go. I don't know if they're feeding them to the family dog or maybe the least favorite kid gets it in their lunch. I don't know, not my business, but I'm gonna start today by doing a peanut butter and jelly sushi sandwich. It's actually really simple and not that time consuming. I have three kids, so something not time consuming is one of the most important things for me. So I'm gonna start by cutting off the crust here. It's just gonna make it a bit easier to roll out. So I've got that. And now I'm gonna take my rolling pin and just pressing firmly, I'm gonna roll this out to nice and thin. Again, just making it easier to roll out. So I'm gonna start with my jelly. Now, to be honest with you, I get a little stingy with jelly when it comes to PB and J's because I'm going just kind of more for the fruit taste and a little bit of sweetness than I am trying to load up a sandwich with sugar. When it comes to my husband, I go big, lots of jelly. He likes trail mix on his, I think that's kind of cool. Uh, but for the little ones, they can kind of get their sugar elsewhere. Take my peanut butter. Make sure that you're going all the way to the edges because like with any sushi, you don't want that kind of lame piece at the end with nothing going on. So I'm spreading this out nice and evenly. And now I'm actually gonna take a little bit of cinnamon. Cinnamon is a superfood. So if I can find places to put cinnamon, I do. It adds a little bit of nutrition and always tastes better with a little bit of cinnamon. So just a little here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and roll this up. So you wanna roll it nice and tight, even though this is gonna be going in a Tupperware or like a little bento box, you still don't want it to fall apart. I definitely don't recommend doing it in a bag if you can help it. We know how kids are with their backpacks. Who knows what it would look like by lunchtime. So now I'm gonna cut it into nice even pieces. and just turn these up. And this is how they would be in the Tupperware. So yeah, they're just little swirls. She digs it. It's been a hit around here. Um, I made this with one piece of bread. So obviously this would be just a half a sandwich, but you can use as many pieces of bread as you think your little one's gonna eat. This also works really well for any kind of meat and cheese sandwich, or um, I even did it with a little tuna. I just kind of had to roll it out a little bit thinner and uh, be a little, little tighter with it, but it worked. So this has been a hit around our house. I hope it is with you and your kiddos too. Again, not too time consuming and just a fun way to show your kids that you're thinking about them. I uh, hope you have a great day. Take care.